this was all being set up for the next phase. This was the deep state, the central bankers, where the United States was going to be entered into a war with China, Russia, and we were going to have World War III. And at the end of this war, they were hoping and they were preparing for the U.S. to lose. They were going to move the entire economic system to another country, most likely China. That's what it looks like they were building this up for. And to get other countries to the same level as the United States, they needed to sell secrets. And this is what Clinton was doing, selling military secrets. They also needed to end the space program or defund it and allow other countries to pick up the slack and actually remove a lot from the U.S. because eventually the U.S. would just be an empty shell. They would, Their military would not be strong. Other countries would have the ability to down their planes or stop the submarines from working or stop them from launching a missile. And they would have the same technology to fight against the technology here in the United States. And we see that it's all being reversed right now. Everything that was done in the past is no longer be being done. And we need to remember that there are deep state factions in each and every one of these countries. And they were calling the shots in the past. What's happening now with Xi Jinping, with Putin, they're pushing the deep state factions out of their country. And this is why we see all of this right now. This is why we see the trade wars with China. Remember, it was set up in the past for all of this to be moved away from the United States. Now, Trump is countering all this. Not Xi Jinping, but the deep state that set this up. And this is why George Soros and the rest are getting very, very nervous. Because they realize their plans, well, they're being flushed down the toilet. And we know that Obama set up the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. And a federal judge looked at this, and this judge is saying that the DACA program is illegal and will be scrapped soon. The conspiracy theory, where we all thought that, yes, this is the case, well, it's coming true. The CIA has publicly admitted what conspiracy theorists have said for years, that they have infiltrated every single civic organization in America. In a tweet sent Wednesday, the official CIA Twitter account told followers, CIA officers work as scientists, support staff, engineers, economists, mathematicians, secretaries, accountants, inventors, architects, psychologists, police, editors, graphic designers, auto mechanics, historians, museum curators, and more. These individuals wanted the keys to the kingdom, and this is why they were putting CIA operatives in all these different positions. 